Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios and Cancerians. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Scorpio versus Cancer, or vice versa, Cancer versus Scorpio. We're going to dive into the energy of these two dynamic zodiac signs. So here we go. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers, my Scorpio subscribers, and my Cancer viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. We have the power of number five. We can see the Hierophant kick in something about long-term commitment. It could be about marriage, truthfulness, honesty, a spiritual connection, a spiritual soul connection between the two of you, feeling spiritually anointed and or waiting for a spiritual awakening to happen. Power of number 10, we could see the Wheel of Fortune card, maybe some form of an unexpected turn of events in a positive direction. Preferably, I'd like to see the Ten of Cups and or the Ten of Pentacles kick in to this reading between the two of you. And power of number 10, again, so we're having a mirroring effect going on. So adding up the power of the numbers brings us to the number 25. Number 25, what is going on between Scorpio and Cancer? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. And 25. And then we have our wake up call, Miss Toto. Come here, baby girl. Let's go. Come on. Come into the office. There you go. Get your chew toy. Okay. I'm gonna go lay down, baby girl, so I can get through the reading. Here we go. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios and my Cancerians, what is the overall energy, the general collective message between these two zodiac signs, please? Show me what's up. Wow, both of you are on the board. Something about emotional love or being emotionally balanced. I feel like somebody wants to say, I love you. Hmm, Queen of Cups. Somebody either cannot let go. We have the four of pentacles. Somebody may not be able to let go of this relationship or somebody's going to try to come in to hold on, to hold back on to the connection. Some of you could be in a same sex relationship. So boy and boy, girl and girl. However, definitely picking up, of course, on heterosexual relationships. However, somebody is being selfish. Somebody has also been selfish with their emotions or holding back feelings. There's a lot of sensitivity going on right now between these two zodiac signs. A lot of sensitive emotions. Wow. What is the energy of the holding back? What is this or not letting go? Why? Okay. Juggling act. Two of pentacles. Either one of you could have felt like you were being juggled by each other and somebody else. So, you know, there could have been some form of competition that was going on or somebody feels like in the past that somebody was not emotionally grounded or balanced. A lot of wants and needs, but I think the chemistry, the chemistry between the two of you is out of sight, to be honest with you.
both of you have a stubborn quality. That is true. Somebody's waiting for somebody to open up. Maybe Scorpio, you've been the one that's been more open and maybe you feel that cancer has been closed off. And the both of you may be juggling how to handle these emotions, how to handle the thoughts between the two of you. Trusted ancestors, show me what is the message from Scorpio's higher self unto cancer, please. The tower moment. Scorpio feels like they've gone through a tower moment with cancer or Scorpio, you feel that your higher self is telling you that you feel like something here wasn't built on a solid foundation or you're waiting for some kind of a breakthrough to happen with your cancerian partner or your person of interest. Show me the higher self. What does Cancer's higher self want to say to Scorpio, please? <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Something about walking away. There could be a blame game going on here. Take the roles how they resonate. Somebody walked away. Cancer, you could have totally walked away from Scorpio. I can't <clears throat> not sugarcoat it and say, well, it kind of feels like there's been a little bit of um, a battle. Excuse me for one second. My alarms are going off. I got up early before my alarms were going off for today. So somebody walked away. Cancer, you could have walked away from Scorpio. Maybe you felt that Scorpio was not balanced or there could have been too much drama or chaos going on in Scorpio's world that maybe cancer, you didn't want to deal with it. That's what I'm also picking up. Scorpio, you could feel like you're on shaky ground because you may feel that cancer was dealing with somebody else juggling you and somebody else. And you saw your cancer walk away from you, <clears throat> which could have left you not only in this tower moment, but possibly even in that nine of swords mentality, feeling restless. But there are deep rooted emotions going on here. What is this tower energy, please? King of swords. Scorpio, it could very well be true that maybe there was somebody else in your life. There could have been an ex that was disrupting maybe the flow between you and cancer. Could have been getting in the way or you felt that your cancerian was being cold hearted, not opening up. Somebody was trying to extract answers. I don't have over the top cup emotion here, even though the emotions run deep, I can energetically feel it. I feel like with this eight of cups, there could have been an argument that had happened in the past. Could it happen recently, maybe over the last two to four days for some of you, but somebody is feeling here that someone shut down, which this King of Swords could match up very good with this four of pentacles, like holding, withholding, withholding. Somebody could have moved on or literally moved away or somebody was wanting to move the connection faster than what somebody's like somebody's pace wanted to be. There could have been control issues. Either one of you could have felt like there were control issues of the timing, when things should happen, when things should fall into place. Let's go into the hidden truth Oracle.
I can't stop thinking about you. Either one of you is thinking very heavily about this connection and maybe some of the actions that have taken place or events. I wish I could take back my words. Yeah, there, for some of you guys, there could have been an argument. Maybe when somebody tried to open up and express that they loved that person, somebody could have, one, either one of you could have shut that I love you down because somebody wasn't ready. Somebody could have not been ready for commitment. Either one of you could think that somebody here was a player. I am picking up for certain Scorpio Cancerian couples that there are also children involved. There could have been a marriage with children involved. I am picking up divorce court in the past or currently, but mostly past tense. Custody battles. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It kind of feels like somebody here might have lost their sense of individuality. There could have been a clinginess, a codependency, somebody latching on. If you were in a very long-term committed partnership between the two of you, we're saying like over two to three or four years or beyond that. Again, somebody lost their sense of individuality or somebody could have became very whiny, clingy, needy, again, codependent. And somebody felt claustrophobic, like they were being smothered, maybe in this connection. Okay, so somebody's growing and evolving. I am becoming a better person. Somebody might not have had very good self-esteem within this connection. Could be another reason why, if anybody was clinging or hanging on, it's because somebody might not have, they might have lost their self-confidence somewhere in the connection. I hope that you can forgive me one day. It could be for this Eight of Cups energy, for somebody walking away or somebody had to do a shakeup or this tower moment. If the tower moment was happening, it was because somebody here in the connection wasn't, wasn't happy. There's like, I love you, but dot, dot, dot. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, somebody walked away. Physically could have walked away out of the connection or they just emotionally shut down and emotionally walked away. You two could still be living under the same roof, but it feels like you're not even with that person. You know what I mean? Somebody wanted somebody to be their be all end all problem solver too. That's what I'm also picking up. I am picking up on online dating. I wish I had treated you better. Almost feels like somebody cut somebody off before even a situation had time to evolve or develop. I feel you even though we are apart. This energy would also match up with that Eight of Cups and also Eight of Wands. 
somebody feels like the connection is at a distance, it could be a physical long distance relationship connection. Okay. I don't feel that this, it's a, it could be very beautiful uh, in all truth and honesty. It could really be beautiful between Scorpio and cancer. There is like this telepathy, like the both of you could read each other's minds, right? And I feel like when the two of you met, it was just like fireworks. You know what I mean? And things could have been going smooth, but somebody might not have been over an ex. Or there was just too much codependency that could have brought about that clinginess or feeling like somebody had to be somebody's problem solver. Is the attraction still there? Yeah, it's there. But because of 3D realities or circumstances, I mean, you could be looking at your Cancerian very differently or Cancer, you're looking at your Scorpio very differently. But somebody was juggling somebody here or another person. There might not have been, at one point in time, enough understanding. So, what I'm feeling here, does this relationship have the ability to survive? Of course. It's all in the power of manifestation. There was a reason why the two of you met. I think there's just a little bit too much of maybe a power struggle or control issues. Somebody's trying to stay optimistic about this connection. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Either one of you could have felt like you manifested the other person into your life. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. See, somebody was holding back. One could have been expressing certain words and somebody was just like, no, I don't exactly feel that way. But I like you as a friend. Some of you went through that. Somebody was like, well, I really like you, but I think it's best to be friends. That could have been a situation. And both of you could have felt like you could express some vulnerability, like open up your deepest, darkest secrets, you know, feeling safe to love. So they're, you know, both of you, but prior to meeting one another, could have had a lot of trust issues with other potential suitors from the past. And you felt like maybe you met your match in one another, but both of you might not have been entirely healed from prior situations, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That could be literally in the literal sense. However, usually with this religious factors cards, it's about the soulmate. I feel soulmate connection. Again, soulmate, past life relationship. You have known each other before. See, there's like a sense, of, there was a sense of comfortability between the two of you. Or even if you guys are together now, you feel that there is a sense of comfortability. Feeling like each other, you, you get one another. You know what I mean? Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. See, somebody wanted somebody to open up and be more expressive, but somebody was afraid also to, to be just a little bit too vulnerable because of trust issues from the past.
give your relationship a, a chance. Somebody wants to work on the connection, work on your partnership, provided it's not a runner chaser type of situation. This could be about having a sit down talk. Maybe some of you have tried to do that. Both of you are lovable. You both deserve love. Again, I feel like past wounds. Work on the partnership. And some of you might be thinking like, Mel, I've tried. Well, then take a step back. Put the energy back on you. By putting energy back on you, that also creates divine timing when you think about it. Because more than likely, there was physical intimacy for a lot of you between the both of you, okay? <clears throat> and people can feel when somebody is moving on. I feel you even though we are apart. A lot of that has to do with the sexual cords that are created during physical intimacy, on an etheric level, like somebody could feel somebody moving on, which could prompt somebody to come back and try to work on the connection because you put the energy back on you. It's a vibrational frequency. Where we get tangled up, especially with the water signs, is that our, our feelings just go so in depth that all of this sensitivity and the sensitivity can turn into pain. It could turn into anger, things like that, because all water signs are over the, we're all over the top emotional. We're all over the top expressive in our own way. And some of you Scorpios think like, well, cancer never expressed themselves. It's because their emotions were locked up. For some of them, I think there's a healing process that's going on here, especially if either one of you felt like you walked away from the connection. Either one of you could have made each other feel like you weren't worthy, you know, in some way, shape or form. But in truth, this could be a beautiful dynamic between the two of you. There's a deeper, I feel like a deep understanding. Like I said, I feel like both of you could read each other's minds. One could be more intuitive than the other, but can Cancerians are very intuitive. They know when something's up, you know, where Scorpio, you really activate that third eye, that crown chakra, like you're always scanning, you know, your intuition, your eyes are always shifting and scanning and looking at people and body language. I mean, you're dissecting, you know, Scorpio's int intuition, we dissect. We dissect what's going on or feel like something's up and signals go up and you're like, hmm. I don't like this. You know what I mean? And either one of you could have felt like there were red flags at one point in time. And it could very well be true that either one of you didn't pay attention to the red flags. What I see here is that there's a healing process that's going on and things are a little bit at a standstill. I don't exactly feel that it's necessarily in hanged man mode. I, I, what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is more or less uh, temperance, an ebb and flow, a reconciliation that wants to happen here. Okay. Scorpio, Cancer, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers for your personal situation, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail. Dot com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, you guys, take care.